you think, Mr. Clean? I like it. Yeah. <laughs> he'll be right over there. Shane will be eating good today, won't he? He will. <laughs> All right, Zach, we're going to get off sports right now. Zach has informed me, and I didn't know about that. I haven't been paid yet. What, what country is this from? Poland. 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 Well, they're Polacks anyway. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this guy, have y'all heard this story, girl? No, y'all not a dentist, oh, are you? I ought to save this for Dr. Coleman tomorrow. But <laughs> supposedly, Zach, this guy broke up when he was dating a dentist who was a female. Yeah, I got the story right here. Uh, you tell me, without using any curse words, what happened, Zach? This is too good to be true. Okay. <laughs> Dennis pulled out all her former boyfriend's teeth after he dumped her for another woman. But he and didn't know it now. You got to set the story. He, went, he uh, broke up with her. But she was a dentist, so he went back. First mistake. So he went back to her because he had a toothache, so he figured she'd be professional enough to take care of it. Uh, well, how'd that said, go, Frank? I do do it. She said, she, this, is coming, this is a quote from her. said, I tried to be professional to detach myself from my emotions, but when I saw him lying there, I just thought, what up? And she used the B word. And said he knew something was wrong when he was coming back to his senses. He was all bandaged up. And she told him he'd probably have to go see a specialist afterwards. So when he took his bandage off, what happened to him? He was gum. He was gummy. <laughs> he, 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 he was toothless. Do it again. How do you do that, Jack? Wait a minute. Oh, 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 take it. Yeah, there you go. Hey, yeah. <laughs> He, he had no teeth anymore. He <laughs> said, pick up a lot of women like he, that. Said, he said, but when I looked in the mirror, I said, I couldn't, you know, he used a few bad words. said, she had emptied yeah. my mouth. He should have took the And then the, the bad thing about it, the new girlfriend broke up with him when she found out he didn't have no teeth. <laughs> so he lost his old girlfriend and his new he, girlfriend. He should have took the Jamie Cooper <laughs> learning how to leave a woman 101. Never but, go back. He hey, man, never, he's never had to worry about that. Like Jack, what's the moral of the story? Moral of the story. If, if your ex-girlfriend's a, a dentist, don't go see her after you break up with her. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, did you ever go back into your ex-wife to yeah. have surgery or anything like that when you... Uh, yeah, well? good, good question. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's speechless. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind, I must have touched the nerve, baby. No, you didn't touch the nerve. I don't go back to see him about nothing. <laughs> I paid them all off. I have nothing to do with them from here on out. Let me see if you got teeth. Oh, yeah. right. you got teeth. Uh, yeah, what else you got, Zach? Well, real quick, in HRA, Morgan Lucas won. Hey, my buddy Jimmy was looking for you Saturday. You was just about taking your camera out to him. He was gonna, he was gonna talk to you about. I was about, working, Zach. Yeah, you were working that event. But yeah, but he now was gonna. You style, can put him on you'll camera. Learn, you'll learn too. <laughs> but in the, in the last story, and this is a feel good story. A lot of people remember Eric Lagrange, paralyzed Rutgers player. Uh, his former coach Greg Schiano is now the head coach of Tampa Bay Bucks. This would have been his draft year. They they signed him to a free agent contract. It's no money involved, but they, as a good gesture, they signed him to a free agent deal so he can say he was a member of Tampa right. Bay Bucks. I want to let mm -hmm. you folks know here if you got some, uh, there's a story at USA Day this morning. If you got some local sports, you want to get it to our sports director, the way you do that is send him an email. Here is his email address. What is it, Zach? BamaZach at gmail.com. Bama, Bama, that's you, right? That's me. Show that picture of Zach again. When I saw him, he, when I saw him, he hadn't shaved. That's the thing over the weekend. There's what he's going to oh, look like. No, no. no. Yeah, Osama that. bin Laden. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> better look watch like out. Look like the late pitcher the Giants. <laughs> Brown hey, you look like Conrad Thompson. Yeah, he, Conrad. Does. <laughs> he does. He does look like Conrad. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Cool. I wish hey, I had the business, no, Conrad. That's Jim. Conrad's heart. Yeah. Hey, maybe I, there's one right there. Bro. I'm going to give a shout out to your favorite car person, Donnie Marlowe. She gave me up there Spoke yesterday. Spoke yesterday. Donnie Marlowe. Yeah, Donnie. All right, anything else we need to talk about? We have some graphics. Let's get those. Uh, if you can pop those up, Brad. We've got several. Yesterday, just any of them. We'll pop them up there. I'll read them as they come up. There. Yesterday must have been the day for everyone contacting us Pleasant Grove Volunteer Fire Department Pancake Breakfast. Go out there, participate in that. A cool start. They'll be ready at 10 a.m. And that's going to be Saturday, May 5th. And then next we have the American Legion is asking for all volunteers to place flags on the graves. All of Limestone County veterans during the month of May. There's going to be a briefing Saturday at May 5th. And final, scam jam, Miss Pruitt from uh, First National Bank sent this in. They're going to have a summit Friday, May 4th. Friday, yes, it is May 4th, 9 to 11, Limestone yeah. County Seniors. Today's Center. May 3rd, then, if tomorrow's yes. May 4th. Yes, yeah. very good. <laughs> <laughs> Today is my brother's, little bro one of my little brother's birthday. Aww. He's 57. Seven. He's running as a, Mike Blakely would be proud of me, as a Democrat. And I'll talk about this on the recount. His buddy, Joey Parker, lost as the county commission three. So I will be in full support of a Democrat come November. Not for president, but for 
District 3 Commissioner in Madison County. So I'll be campaigning gearing on his up, behalf. Gearing up to vote and, uh, for another Democrat. Well, he tried to go, but, but, but he's, he's got not. a great he, chance to win that. But, but he tried to run on the Republican. The Republican, they, they bumped him and Tom Butler all at the same time. Right. All right, we're going to take a break. Jeffrey, anything else in the kitchen we need to know? Well, it's rodeo time. Waiting on the beans. Waiting on the beans. Yeah, we <laughs> are too. Frank's ready to go. Hey, well, we're going to talk with uh, David in just a second. Mr. Clean mm -hmm. over here about all the things Lewis and Son has to offer. Rodeo Queen's in here also. Mm -hmm. Sheriff yeah. at the beach. Yeah, a conference. Yeah, old, okay. Yeah. He's working. Yeah. Okay. He had a conference. Conference. Sure is. They sure the hell are. He wasn't supposed to short. say the beach now. He's on official conference. business. Yeah. Official business. Don't tell on him. He's the only man I know that can drive to Gulf Shores in an hour and a half. What if he All right, right now we'll take a break. Be right back. Y'all, hang on. <laughs>